Hey y'all, summer's almost here and I thought it'd be a good time to do a video on summer carry, different methods for when the weather gets hot and the clothing gets smaller. So, um, basically I'm just going to give a couple of methods I've found that have worked over the years and uh, their pro cons. So I'm going to start with one of the big things that I find is always good for uh, when it's hot weather is pocket carry. I have uh, here my pocket holster for, from aholster.com. I forget the name of it, but uh, aholster.com. I think they only make like one pocket holster. Um, you know, Kydex, real nice pocket holster. Pocket holster has a lot of advantages. There's a, lot of, a few disadvantages. Um, the disadvantages to pocket carry are... Uh, the gun, pretty much revolver-wise, you're not going to go anything bigger than a J-frame, and semi-auto-wise, I mean, you're pretty much limited to pocket, like a little 380, maybe some of them super micro 9 millimeters if your pocket's big enough, but chances are you're going to be limited to pretty much your small guns. Um, advantages of that is pretty easy to conceal, draw time is not terrible you know it's not as quick as a holster but pulling a gun out of your pocket with practice is not that hard especially if you have the right gun with the right pocket holster um you know especially with revolvers and stuff you definitely want to go a hammerless gun uh or shrouded hammer i have my little 638 sitting right here that uh shrouded hammer real easy to draw out of a pocket so really nice and all you've got to pretty much be doing is wearing a pair of pants that can support them obviously you know baggy uh baggy gym shorts and stuff might not work the best for that but if you're wearing jeans or you know some kind of like khaki or whatever like that you should be fine with pocket carry so that's pretty much you know usually uh, my main go-to but there's other methods so uh, inside the waistband. Inside the waistband for summer is actually probably your best bet on carrying a larger gun. Here I have, this is from T5, this is their inside the waistband carry. This is set up for appendix uh, with a wedge and everything. But um, append or inside the waistband is good if you want to carry a little bit bigger gun. The pros to the, or the, con I'll start with the cons, the cons to that is it can be somewhat uncomfortable depending upon the gun you're carrying. Um, you know, naturally sticking it a big chunk of steel in your pants can definitely get annoying. And depending upon how you carry it, especially with appendix, you know, sometimes it can be difficult to find that sweet spot. But other than that, um, you're probably still gonna need a decent belt, like a gun belt I'd recommend, you know, so it doesn't sag or anything. But you can go bigger gun. So into the pros of that, you know, getting, you can have a little bit bigger gun, a um, little bit easier draw, especially, you know, if you're a fan of appendix carry, you're going to have a, you know, a faster draw and a simpler draw. Um, but, you know, with that inside the waistband, you know, it, it's it's a nice way to carry a little bit bigger gun. Generally, when I've carried inside the waistband, you can pretty much go up to, you know, 1911 size and, you know, steel can seal pretty well if you have the correct holster. So inside the waistband, definitely, definitely versatile when it comes to carrying something bigger you know, has a few pros and cons, has a few pros, or I'm sorry, cons to the fact that, you know, um, you got to get the right holster set up and still wear a decent gun belt and all that. But again, definitely a solid option. So belly bands. Now I've never actually reviewed a belly band on the channel. Um, I have this one here and I haven't done a review on it yet. So I'm not going to uh, talk too much about this particular bell belly band because a lot of them are all kind of the same. But um, in using, I've used a couple different belly bands over the years, like briefly trying out. And I will say with the right gun, they are actually kind of comfortable. So pros, uh, pro and con to belly band. The cons are, again, you're kind of limited to a small gun. Yes, I'm sure everyone has gone to the gun show and seen the belly band sitting there on display with a big old Beretta 92 FS in it. And oh, it fits, it's fine. Uh, no, like for me and my... For my mindset, like again, you're pretty much belly band wise, you're going to go to pocket gun or maybe, you know, like subcompact nine mil, you know, small revolver. But like you're going to want to keep that light because they're usually made of nylon with Velcro attachments and all that. And it's going to be wrapped around your waist. So you want to keep it fairly light. Um, other than that, can conceal really well under baggy clothing, like a T-shirt or a Hawaiian shirt. Uh, they can seal really well. Um, drawl on them is going to be fairly slow, but again, you know, this is usually the more it conceals, the harder it is to get to. So, you know, that's a given. But belly bands really do work in the sense that 
you don't have to be wearing any pants. Now, I'm not saying go out in public with no pants on. Again, I want to stress, do not go out in public with no pants on. Um, but you don't, you know, if you're wearing, maybe you're at the beach and you're wearing uh, swim trunks or you're wearing, you know, lightweight, you know, gym shorts or something, uh, a belly band works because it doesn't actually, you don't have to be wearing anything else to conceal it except for a shirt. Um, if you want to open carry, I guess you wouldn't have to wear a shirt either, but, you know, again, we're talking about uh, concealed carry, so, uh, yeah, but again, you don't have to wear a pant, you don't need a gun belt, you don't need a specific pocket, you just need a shirt that's loose-fitting enough to conceal the gun, which generally, with a decent belly band, isn't that hard to do. Um, the final thing I want to talk about, and this is actually something I don't have any experience with, I want to say that, but I've heard enough times, and well, we know it works because it's been used for years, and that is fanny packs. Now, again, I have no experience with fanny packs. They're just not for me. But if you're looking for a method that is ultra comfortable and concealment really isn't an issue, fanny packs got to be hands down your, your best summer method of that, especially if you're in a touristy town. You're not going to stand out. You know, a lot of people have fanny packs, the whole, you know, whatever on the beach. So that's something you can conceal a gun in. They make a ton of different fanny packs that are now made for concealed carry. And you don't have to worry about printing. You don't have to worry about a shirt or pants or anything. You can walk around all day long and with just your fanny pack and you're good to go. Um, again, you know, I don't have much experience in that, but there is tons of them out there. And it's definitely something I have considered over the years, just not for me. So um, that's pretty much it. That's my like top methods for how to conceal carry in the summertime when it's hot out. You know, definitely, uh, definitely a good few options out there. Put down below. Is there anything you know you've ever done in the summer that uh, seems to work for you that I didn't mention? I'm sure there's other methods out there. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And have a good day.